Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutara. Uh, and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising monthly tower reading for November 2018. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that uh, this is just a, a general reading for Scorpio star signs and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as well, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about Scorpio's month, uh, <clears throat> you can uh, purchase the monthly extended tarot reading from my website for just $1.49. And in this uh, extended video, I am going to make two additional spreads, one for career and one for relationship for the representative star sign. So that being said, this is going to be a general spread for the month for Scorpio and the first card that we do have is going to regards to the topic of Scorpio's month. And we do have the King of Wands. So you have to be very ambitious throughout this month Scorpio. I mean you, you have to kind of dig up that sheets of paper that you kind of like placed your ideas and your aims throughout the year even and start doing something to uh, accomplish them. I mean this is what the ambitious means. So this month it's kind of like the words and the sentences it's way too hard, I cannot do it, you know, or uh, it's simply it's not worth it etc etc should not be a part of your dictionary. Additionally to that, this month is going to be dappled with, um, how can I place it, uh, with positive attitude. There won't be much things that you can really see them from the negative side. That speak, that spoken, you are to take advantage of a lot of uh, a, a lot of openings here, and you are going to be able to traverse uh, situations which are in your. Um, which are negative to you into uh, into your advantage. So uh, situations which are uh, disadvantageable for you into situations of advantage. And also when we're talking about the King of Wands, uh, it is very possible that a lot of people will come to you for guidance or to stand for them because the King of Wands is the natural born leader and uh, <clears throat> people will um, yeah, and situations as well, you know, will recognize the ability for you to lead. And when we talk about that, it is very important that you um, take, you know, a, an extra attention for how you need to mask and hide your weaknesses. Everybody has weakness, all right? But when you are in a leadership position, your obligation is not to show where your weakness lies and what your weakness is, because your enemies is gonna take advantage of that, obviously. So uh, basically what this month is all about for you Scorpios is to, over is to accomplish challenging tasks. And I hope that, uh, you know, our ambition uh, throughout the month is going to be on its peak because it all that it takes. The next card that we do have here is going to be the best possible course of action, and we do have the King of uh, the Knight of Pentacles, excuse me. And the Knight of Pentacles is very meticulous, very systematic, very methodical, and very simple with its approach. So basically, you should not rely on sophisticated plans that many things depend on many things, all right? So um, <clears throat> the uh, plans that you need to create, or rather the approach that you need to focus on, is an approach that nothing of the um, how can I place it um, the situation or rather the uh, the, ma the manifestation of uh, of your goal should depend on your new for example if you want a certain project, you should structure your strategy in a certain way that nothing depends on your co-workers 
or on your bosses right everything needs to depend on you and you only if you need to do so on a very initial stages do the negotiations required you know um, basically settle the rules for how this project is going to be proceed further but what this card here points is that you need to take the matters in your and your entire hands and you should not leave uh, any control whatsoever upon the other people that are involved into the situation additionally this card points that you have to act with a strong determination and also huge amounts of conviction and as i said you are to be a the natural born leader here throughout the month leader into your relationship or leader into your career many people will count on you to give them the right answer to point them into the right direction and any sign of doubt is going to basically start is going to basically start wobble, wobbling um, the foundations of your leadership position and this is the last thing that you want in the, that, that you want to have additionally to that should you feel yourself overburdened and uh, lacking strength you know uh, lacking concentration lacking focus uh, this card advises you to take some free time some time off and spend it among nature the next card it is the predicaments uh, the challenges which are causing predicaments and the two of wands here points to some unpredictable situation or some unpredictable development of a certain situation that will go a little bit off the plan how much well that depends how simple your plan is going to be as we said the plan needs to be extremely simple and in the same time or simultaneously it has to be entirely in your control if you do so the predicaments are going to be extremely negligible close to zero or even sub-zero but um, <clears throat> you know if you underestimate the situation and you think that it is a piece of cake you know you don't make your thorough research you don't um, negotiate the terms of um, how the agenda or how the undertaking is going to be developed well then the predicaments are going to be quite severe and we are talking here for surprises we are talking here for very unexpected events that are to happen which you have to tackle with simultaneously with the plan moving on forward an entire twist as well of the plan itself so uh, again the two of pentacles it is not very positive card when it comes to that particular follow up it, it basically points that um, the plans cannot be a hundred percent rock solid all right that card deprives you from a rock, so rock solid development according to a certain plan and uh, here another property of the king of one kicks in and this is a brilliant str strategist all right the, he, the king of the king of wands knows how to utilize um, resources to their best capacity um, and tackle with um, a kind of like an un unpredictable uh, unpredictable development of a certain events and you have to do it so the next card that we do have this is going to be about the resources that you can capitalize on this is going to be the uh, page of wands and that is the uh, loyalty of the fellowship you are to have basically uh, your fellowship is to follow every single uh, order every single suggestion and uh, basically every single idea that you pass through them so it's kind of like you can uh, what what that card here is uh, is as a follow-up is that you can be only the one who is pointing and you can leave everybody else to do the dirty job for you so you will have as a resources here a, a vast amount of working hand if i might say that way or supportatives <clears throat> and uh, again the capitalization on that specific resource depends entirely on your uh, on how good strategists 
you are because that will be required here and also how much confidence you exert into those people because again it, if you doubt even for a second of how things should be proceeded that doubt is going to start spreading among those who want to follow you among those who are taking you as an example among those which are uh, swearing in your um, in your success <clears throat> And that inevitably will result with uh, a, a lose of um, of fellowship. So, uh, also this card uh, kind of speaks for capability to um, to face everything new. That kind of like diminishes the predicaments you may face here. But uh, it is a resource that you can capitalize on. Again, it is a very big question mark. Right, it does depend on your uh, pers on, on your personality here, <clears throat> how you will be able to basically um, take advantage of uh, this specific resource. Basically, however, what the card advises you is to be open for everything new, and to accept every um, difficulty that may arise throughout the month as a, an opportunity rather than something that slows you down as a, an opportunity for growth as an opportunity for to prove that you are as good as you claim you are and the last card that we do have this is to be the final outcome so um, through the king of wands you are becoming the king of swords so the king of swords is a, uh, a person of high authority so here you do you are proclaimed as a reader and now you are consolidated as a leader all right as the king of swords as i said is a, a person of high authority is a, a person that people basically don't argue with because he knows better the king of um, the king of swords here points that you will be able to negotiate a very good terms when it comes to career and it could be a sign of um, physical attraction if it comes to a, a personal life but it could be a sign the very least the king of swords here points that you will be able to kind of structure a, a very good uh, understanding for yourself and as well you know a, a very good strategy how you should proceed proceed forward with the power given given you um, which is given to you over here being proclaimed as a leader either into your career or either into your relationship and uh, that will involve a certain manipulation from your behalf that needs to be uh, needs to be exerted uh, and what I'm trying to say un uh, under manipulation is that uh, you know in majority of the cases a leader uh, the 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 dignity that does not dictate one leader to say the whole truth but only um, but only that part that portion of the truth which the others needs to hear the rest the leader needs to keep for itself all right so it's kind of like you have to be very careful how you um <clears throat> how you deal with the information that it comes to you because this information is going to make you forewarned therefore forearmed and you don't want to other people especially your enemies because everybody has enemies you know your enemies to have the same kind of information because you don't know who is the snitch in the nest and uh, believe me it's kind of like uh, the least you expected it, it is when it hits you. So basically, yeah, you have to be very careful how you capitalize on the influence. Because great influence, as the superhero movie says, the great influence is a great power, and great power is a great responsibility. So be responsible, and also throughout the month, you have to be um, kind of like um, very ambitious. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your monthly uh, tarot reading for November 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was just a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. 
Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month, specifically career and relationship, there is an extended monthly tower reading that you can purchase from my website for just $1.49 in which extended video I am doing a couple of spreads, two more spreads to be exact, one for career path and one for relationship path for Scorpio for the month of November. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.